I wasn't expecting to make a second Zenless Zone Zero video so soon, but because people were hungering for this game on Steam Deck, I just had to. The last video had us using the Hero Game Store to download Zenless Zone Zero from the Epic Store, which is a perfectly fine way of playing the game, but some people have some reservations about running it through Epic. Thankfully, that's no longer required, as there's a new best way to download Zenless Zone Zero. And yes, it's from your favorite anime game team. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech low life lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. So yes, you'll need to go into desktop mode. You can do so from the power menu. It's pretty simple. So before we start, we have to answer a bunch of hard questions. First and foremost, how is this different from the last video I made? Well, the last video revolved entirely around the Epic Game Store version of Zenless Zone Zero. Which, by the way, that method still works if you prefer. But there's a ton of people that would rather not touch the Epic Game Store if they can help it. This video is for those of you that don't like the Epic Game Store. This method of installation is contingent on the quote-unquote Sleepy Game Launcher. This is a native Linux launcher designed to help you install and get Zenless Zone Zero set up pretty much pain-free with extra amenities. And of course, this time, I'll be installing Zenless Zone Zero on a micro SD card, which I didn't do last video because of, well, the unusual method of installing Zenless Zone Zero through the default launcher that you download through the Epic Game Store, or rather Heroic Games Launcher. This addresses that issue. Also in the last video, I got some complaints that people couldn't log on to their MiHoYo accounts because it's tied to their Google accounts. And thankfully, this fixes that entire issue. Though I would recommend logging in through your Google account in desktop mode as opposed to game mode. This should work. Also worth mentioning is that this is a third-party launcher. While Zenless Zen Zero's anti-cheat seems to work on Linux just fine, using this third-party launcher is against terms of service, and if anything happens to your account while using this, then I'm not responsible. So do keep that in mind. So without further ado, let's begin then. By default, you can't find these launchers on the Discover app. You'll need to add an anime team's repo into your Discover app. If you followed my Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail video, then you probably already have this repo added. But if you haven't, then just follow these instructions. Step 1. Launch the Discover app. Step 2. Go into Settings. Step 3. Click on Add Source in Settings. Step 4. Paste this URL. This is the URL you want to use. You'll either want to type it in or you'll want to copy and paste it with a keyboard. Now you'll be able to find the Sleepy Launcher. If you look up Sleepy in the Discover App Store, it should be the first result. But if it's not, just look up Sleepy Launcher instead. Go ahead and press Install and you should be ready. The launcher itself is very quick to download. You can either launch it from your Start menu or launch it from Discover directly. If you've watched my Genshin or Honkai Star Rail videos, then you should be familiar with this style of launcher. It's mostly self-explanatory unless you want to download it and install it on your micro SD card. If you want to install it on your SSD, then just press continue, and then go ahead and go through the entire process as per usual. But if you want to install it on a micro SD card, which I will demonstrate right here, then follow these upcoming directions. In the default path screen, press I know what I'm doing and then scroll all the way down to the global game version installation folder. There you'll want to select your micro SD card, and you'll want to make a new folder called Zenless Zen Zero. If you want to play the Chinese version of ZZZ, then do it for the Chinese version instead. Due to an unusual Linux quirk, you have to press the back button, and then select the folder and then press the open button, and it'll install there. As for everything else, I would leave it default. All of your runners and DXVK stuff should be in your SSD to help it run faster. I would also leave the Wine version and DXVK version as default. Now press download and it'll download. This process won't take too long, but again, that depends on your internet connectivity. That said, I do have gigabit around the house, so it's fairly fast for me. But don't walk away just yet. Wine will pop up and prompt you to install Mono. And yes, you'll need to install Mono, so just go ahead and press Install. Mono will install and the process will continue as per usual. I don't really know what happens if you reject the Mono install, but for the sake of completeness, don't. And then the rest of the process should continue as per usual. Now for the fun part. When you launch the launcher again, you'll get this error message. Failed to find game diff. Yes, this happens when you try to change where the game installs. So there is an easy fix. You have to go to your Zenless Zen Zero folder you made. In my case, I made it on my micro SD card. 
And yes, you'll have to delete the Zenless Zen Zero folder you just made. I'm not sure what it is, but the launcher seems to have an issue with installing the game in a folder you made. Seems like a permissions issue. But if you delete the folder, it'll make the folder by itself and it'll give you the option to finally download the game. And yes, downloading the game will take a little bit. So yes, I'm gonna fast forward through this entire segment. So I kind of just let my Steam Deck there while I did other stuff. And now the game is ready. And as you can see here, the game's installed and the folder was remade. So why don't we go ahead and launch the game? And no, we're not done with this entire process yet. The game does support keyboard and mouse and controller, but for setup purposes, I'm just gonna click keyboard and mouse. You can change this in the options later on. So now the game will prompt you to log in. You should be familiar with this song and dance by now, but you'll want to enter your username or password, or you can log into your Google or Twitter or Facebook or Apple account that's tied to your MiHoYo account. And of course, you'll need to have your email handy for two-factor authentication. Yes, the game will install some additional files. And yes, you'll be prompted to restart the game. Go ahead and do that when the game prompts you to do so. And yes, you'll be ready to play right here. Also in the Sleepy Launcher, there are some additional features that you can get acquainted with. You can change how the launcher looks. You can also change the language of the launcher. You can change what version of the game you want to play. You can even change your payment processor. You can do it through Hoyoverse directly, or you can do it through Google Play. There's also additional settings that change the behavior of this wine prefix but I wouldn't worry too much about that unless you know what you're doing. You can add the sleepy launcher by right clicking it and then press add to steam. Now let's see how the launcher works in game mode. Now we're in game mode, let's go ahead and launch sleepy launcher. While this launcher is mouse operated, you can actually use the touchscreen to press launch and it'll work just fine. You can also change your launcher appearance to look like the actual game launcher as opposed to like a random Linux launcher. The game does take a bit of time to load because we installed it on our micro SD card. But if you're someone with less storage on your SSD, then it might just be a necessity. So if you haven't already, I would go into input and then change it to controller. And once you're in controller, it should work just fine. So as you can see here, Hoyoverse has been incredibly generous to me. They've given me two S tier characters, which is rare because I rarely get five star characters in MiHoYo games, yet they gave me them pretty early on. In the last video, I mentioned that notices would crash your game if you tried to launch it. But now if you tried to launch it here, it actually works. So I'm not saying that this launcher is more stable, but they managed to get it working whereas the Epic Game Store version didn't. The community tabs and the strategy stations would launch the browser, but in game mode it doesn't do that. So yeah, don't worry about that. Also, for whatever reason, changing the display mode to default 2304 by 1440 makes the game run at 16 by 10. It fills out your entire Steam Deck screen. I don't know why the game would say it's at 1440p when my Steam Deck only runs at 800p, and it's not like the Steam Deck is docked or anything, so yeah, that's weird. You know what's also crazy? The game gave me a bunch of dupes for Corrin, like enough to max out her Mindscape Cinema, and all I really wanted was the Shark Girl. So yes, the game worked fine before, and I don't I don't see any major changes. I'm streaming this to my desktop so I can record it without plugging it into a capture card, so that's why it kind of lags a little bit. But when you're not streaming it through Steam Remote Play on your main desktop from your Steam Deck, it runs without a hitch. The game is all on default medium settings. I don't see any real issue with it. You could lower the graphical detail if you wanted to, but I don't feel like it, to be honest. It works just fine for me. I'm just happy we addressed a lot of the main pain points. I'm glad we can get Google authentication working. I'm glad we can install it on a micro SD SD card. I'm glad the notices tab doesn't crash the game anymore either. And honestly, the game's pretty fun. Is it because I pulled two S ranks? Maybe. Maybe I just got lucky. By the way, I always play these games as a free to player. I don't spend money in gacha games, so yeah, there's that. And while using this third party launcher could break TOS, it is my preferred way to launch Zenless Zone Zero. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.